section that's got no embargo, followed by an embargo section after that. Uh, as always, no live tweeting in the broadcast section, and we will start with team news from Sky and then ask for a maximum of two questions per journalist to get through as many as possible in the 30 minutes we have. Michael. Antonio. Hey. Back, back. Um, Thank you. What's the latest team news ahead of the match? I'm hearing Kasuma might have a slight knock. Uh, in uh, in this moment, we have uh, only one player that uh, uh, I'm sure uh, will miss against uh, Southampton. Is uh, Skip and Olivier Skip uh, about Bisuma? I think we have another day and uh, to to check very well uh, his physical condition. Mm, nothing else serious, but uh, uh, I don't want to take uh, any risk uh, for. Uh, for the next games, but um, tomorrow um, we have another training session to make evaluation about uh, about team. The other are uh, all av available. I was talking Cummings. There's talk of Destiny Lugugay from Udinese. What's the latest on him? And also, you've made six signings. Do the club need more for, for a, a very successful season? <sighs> for sure, uh, we are trying to do uh, Things with common sense, and uh, I think uh, I I know I know only only this way uh, to try to to improve the club, to try to to give a a, a right direction, uh, and uh, um, it's not simple. It's not simple because uh, um, you have to try to not make mistake, no, uh, especially. In the transfer window with the, with the, with the club, but I think uh, we are uh, we are doing uh, uh, good things uh, with common sense and uh, to try to to improve the the quality, to try to improve the the squad uh, because uh, in this season we are going to play and to face four competitions, especially Champions League and uh, with Premier League and uh, FA Cup and uh, Carabao Cup. Um, yeah, I, I think that we are going in the right direction, but you know very well that um, <laughs> you, you need to have a bit of patience, uh, time, uh, because uh, if you want to build something important and to uh, to fight for important uh, achievement, and uh, yeah, you have to work and uh, to work, to work, to work, and. Uh, to improve uh, in uh, in every moment, uh, every situation, the club. It sounds like as well with the World Cup and, and five substitutes, you might want the managers want a little bit of a bigger squad this year. Um, with Reggion, Winks, La Salsa and Don Belle, is there any chance of them to return as the season progresses or is the message is better for everyone they find a new solution, new club? Mm, yeah, but uh, as uh, you said in your question, and uh, there is the World Cup. There is the World Cup, and for this reason, many players uh, want to play regularly. Uh, and then, uh, for this reason, uh, I think that uh, sometimes it's better uh, and uh, um, the player and for the club and to to find the right solution for both. Because uh, to to keep players unhappy is not is not good, and uh, I can't uh, I cannot assure uh, ensure uh, to play regularly uh, here in Tottenham, and uh, but we are talking about a, a good player, but um, they want to play regularly. Then maybe they deserve to play regularly, and for this reason we want to find the best solution with the club with the player to be uh, the both sides happy. Charlie. Um, hi, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Um, secondly, how do you feel your team and your players have developed in pre season tactically um, with the time that you've had? Uh, surely to, to have uh, seven, seven months of work in your back is, uh, is really important because uh, it means that uh, uh, I can work also to improve, no? To improve our uh, tactical aspect, uh, to improve also under physical condition, uh, to improve all of the team, uh, because the the team has uh, seven months of work in his, in his back. We are trying to develop much more uh, situation with the ball, without the ball, uh, about the pressure, 
high pressure, medium pressure, low pressure. And uh, yeah, I'm, under this aspect, I'm uh, satisfied because um, we had uh, more time to work together and to try to develop our, uh, uh, our uh, football knowledge. Southampton and Southampton and it does feel like a long time ago but they did beat you 3-2. What are you expecting from Southampton this aspect? Uh, my expectation to have a different result than last season. <laughs> this is my first expectation. Yeah, I hope so because in the last season and uh, Southampton uh, 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 we do uh, away and we lost at home. And uh, for this season we are talking about a team that uh, is a uh, is a really good team, a good manager. We have to pay great attention, but at the same time, uh, we want to try to start in the, the best possible way, to try to get three points. We are going to play in our stadium. This is the first game, and uh, we'll see again uh, our fans. And uh, yeah, uh, it'll be exciting for, for the players, for me, and uh, to, to play again and uh, to go into uh, the new season. Ian. Hi Antonio, welcome back. Thank you. Um, what does success look like for you this season? Because some fans I speak to after last season and some you've had in terms of transfers think top four, some think top four and a trophy, some think just a trophy. So within that spectrum, what is success? Why not Champions League and Premier League <laughs> to win? Okay, you want to win the Champions League? <laughs> 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 But I, I think my, my target, my target and the, the, the uh, club's target is to try to, to continue to improve, to develop what we, uh, the process that we have started uh, seven months ago. It doesn't mean that uh, if you lift trophy or you, or you win Premier League or you win Champions League or, or you get a, a place in Champions League, uh, you achieve the, your uh, uh, your target. Uh, it means that we have to to try to develop in every aspect, because my experience um, bring me to tell that uh, uh, we are going the right di uh, direction. But at the same time, I know that the club needed other step before to be competitive uh, with. Uh, with uh, the top team in, uh, in the league, the top team in, uh, in, uh, in Europe. For this reason, I think that we have uh, not to be presumptuous, not arrogant, and um, we have to know only one word, that uh, is uh, work, work and work, to try to improve into the pitch, outside of the pitch, to become uh, a, a, top, a top club. Yeah, but um, I think we are in the right, right direction. We are uh, improving, and our target is to develop, to develop the situation, and to increase uh, uh, our value uh, into the pitch and outside of the pitch. And I've been looking at some of your Instagram over the summer. You've obviously been working hard on the pitch during the, the team's tours, but lots of nice family photos of you around London as well. I get the impression you are a much happier Antonio Conte sitting here now than six months ago or even nine months ago when you joined the club. You seem like everything fits a lot better now. Am I right? I, I, I have to be honest, but uh, and, uh, um, from, from the first, when I, when I arrived in, in Tottenham and then uh, uh, I, was, uh, I was really happy because uh, I always say that I, I found uh, um, a, a, a club, a modern club with a great, uh, with a stadium, with a fantastic training ground, and uh, everything that uh, um, a coach aspire to to find. No, when you sign a, a contract. At the same time, I say that uh, I want to, to to try to build something important with this club because uh, I like. Uh, I like to win, <laughs> and uh, and I say that um, it would be very important to match uh, to match these uh, two situations and uh, to develop the club and uh, to uh, to bring the club to become uh, 
uh, a club that wants to, to fight for something important in every, in every season. Yeah. Then you know very well, every season there is one that win in the Premier League, uh, one win the Champions League, one FA Cup, one Carabao Cup. In England it's very difficult to win because they are a monster. But at the same time, our target is want to, to bring Tottenham to have the stability, to stay there, and then to fight, to fight, to be competitive and to try to, uh, to lift trophy. Uh, yeah, to become a, a, a stable club, no? a stable club and uh, in a good position. But I know also other clubs no, want to do the same and uh, yeah, for this reason it would be very difficult. George. Antonio, hello. Um, just on Man City and Liverpool and competing, what do you need to compete with them two clubs for Premier Leagues and Champions Leagues? Do you need more money, more players? What do you need to compete with the two best teams in England? Yeah, but uh, I think that uh, you forgot Chelsea. And this is a big, big mistake. You are talking about uh, a team that two seasons ago won the Champions League. And uh, it's a really big squad. Last season they, they, they won the World Cup for, for, for club. Yeah. <laughs> Why Chelsea is not in, uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this group of, uh, of top team? For me, Chelsea is uh, in this group. And uh, they want to stay there and they deserve it to, to be considered in this, uh, in this position. And then uh, there is a United. Uh, that don't forget, and I repeat, because football is not one more one two. Because United, and I repeat, a concept that I I always say 